Lots of people travel to the big station at the end of the line. Engines from the other railway sometimes pull their trains. These engines stay the night and go home next day. One day, Gordon was talking to one of these engines. When I was young and green, he was saying, I used to work at the big city station. Do you know the place? It's called King's Cross. King's Cross, snorted the engine. That station's called Euston. Everyone knows that. Rubbish, interrupted Duck. The big city station is Paddington. I know, I worked there. They argued until they went to sleep. They argued when they woke up. They were still arguing when the other engine went away. Stupid thing, grumbled Gordon. I've no patience. Stupid yourself, Duck retorted. It's Paddington. Paddington, do you hear? Stop arguing, James finally snapped. You make me tired. You're both agreed on one thing anyway. What's that? The station's not Euston. Now stow it. Gordon puffed away indignantly. I'm sure it's King's Cross, he fumed. I'll go and prove it. But that was easier said than done. The big city lay beyond the big station at the other end of the line. Gordon always took his express there, and then an engine from the other railway finished the journey. If I didn't stop, I could go all the way to the big city, thought Gordon. One day, he ran straight through the station without stopping. Another time, he tried starting before his fireman could uncouple the coaches. He tried all sorts of tricks, but his driver checked him every time. He began to lose hope. Oh dear, he thought, I shall never get there. But a chance was soon to come his way. One day, Gordon was parked in the siding while the coaches waited for an engine to take them to the big city. But the engine never came. An inspector came to speak with Gordon's driver and fireman. The engine from the other railway turned over as it was pulling out of the yard. Nothing else can get in or out. We want you to pull the train to the big city. Sir Topham had us given permission for you to make the trip. Fine, said the driver. Come on, Gordon. Let's show them what Sir Topham Hatt's engines can really do. Come on, enthused Gordon. Let's go. He rolled out of the siding and backed onto the coaches. It was only a few minutes before the guard blew his whistle, but Gordon thought it was ages. Come on, come on. On, come 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 on, he cried. We're going to town, we're going to town, we're going to town, sang the coaches, slowly at first, then faster and faster. Gordon quickly found that the big city was a long way away. Never mind, he said, I'd like a long run to stretch my wheels. All the same, he was relieved when he rumbled over the bridge and the big city loomed in the distance. Gordon returned the next day. Sir Topham Hatt was there to greet him. Well done, Gordon, he said proudly. You really helped us out of a jam there. I hope you enjoyed your stay in the big city. No, sir, I didn't. Why ever not? The big city station's all wrong, sir, he said. They've changed it. It's not King's Cross anymore. It's St. Pancras. And he told him about his argument with Duck. Sir Topham Hatt couldn't help but splutter with laughter. No, oh, you silly engines, he chortled. You're all correct. The big city has many stations, King's Cross, Euston, Paddington, St. Pancras, Victoria, and they're all fine stations. Gordon felt very silly, but he couldn't help but laugh as well. Well, he said, that clears that up, but King's Cross is still the best big city station, isn't it?